Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. One of the inquiries which is very common when we move in this world, people want to know something personal about the Mahatmas or for that purpose anybody who influences them, who stand in respect for them. For example, there was one lady who was honored. She was the first uh, chairperson of a bank and she was honored. So I was called to honor her. <coughs> we had all the function. Then she spoke about her professional life. How from the probation officer to the top post she has climbed. And after that was over, <coughs> any questions? So the first question came, what about your life at your home front? Because in offices, you are a boss. But at home, they are also you are a boss, then there is no problem. If you are a subordinate, then there is nothing but problem. So how do you tackle and what are the things at home? Similarly here. When Bhagwan said, Shruti vi pratipannati yadas thasyati nishchala samadha vachala buddhihi tada yogam avapsasi. When your mind is no more confused about the goal, no more confused about the means to attain the goal and no more <coughs> influence by any doubts about anything and when such a vikshepa chalana varjita when such a mind understanding without any disturbances samadhau atmani when such a mind is able to absorb in the self, then you attain yoga. Tada yogam avapsasi. What is the meaning of yoga here? Yoga is viveka prajnyam samadhim prapsasi. Viveka prajnyam means what? <coughs> Be very attentive. Viveka prajnyam means although living in relativity, Never compromising with the experience of the Absolute. That is called as Viveka uh, Prajnyam or Samadhi. So, the best example I can think of is when we stand in front of the mirror. So, there it is an experience of dvaita, duality, that I am seeing in the mirror. Now what are you seeing in the mirror? Myself. So, when we are standing in front of the mirror, that is the Shambhavi Mudra. One day somebody asked me this question, Swamiji, how can we understand Shambhavi Mudra when I was explaining Antar Laksha Bahir Drushti Nimesha Unmesha Varjita. How it is possible? And what it is exactly? I can't get it. I said, go and stand before the mirror, and that is called as Shambhavi Mudra. So, Antar Laksha, your attention is on your face. And you are looking outside into the mirror. In the same manner, we are living our life in the duality in relativity. But 
our experience of the absolute is not compromised this is called as the viveka prajnam samadhim prapsasi so when we arjuna heard this thing like we want to know about the personal life of somebody uh, how did you come on this line you will come every one of you will come this question how did you come on this line so i fire them whatever comes in my head <clears throat> so when this was said prashnam ijam pratilabhy arjuna uvacha labdha samadhi prajnasya lakshan bubutsaya so then arjuna got an opportunity to ask a question so prashnam ijam pratilabhy when he found out the reason to ask a question he asked and what was this question labdha samadhi prajnasya lakshanam bubutsaya with a desire to know that he who has this uh, viveka prajnam samadhi what you have glorified in the last verse what he is like how does he live what is his lifestyle all these questions he wanted to inquire and therefore arjuna uvacha arjuna says arjuna uvacha arjuna uvacha stita prajnasya ka bhasha stita prajnasya ka bhasha samadhi sthasya keshava प्रभाषेत किसीतव्रजेत स्थिता प्रतिष्ठिता अहम अस्मी परम ब्रह्म इति प्रज्ञा यस्य सहा स्थित प्रज्ञा he who is firmly abiding in the experience of being the absolute he is called as stita prajna so there is no doubt whatsoever like you know <coughs> if somebody comes and tells me 100 times swami ji i think you are a girl swami ji i think you are a girl anybody the whole world may tell but i will have no doubt that i am a man so as regards my own identity is concerned i am fully established in that and this conviction alone all of us live like you know some people are very convinced that they are very good they are very simple they are very pure and then these people ask question Swami ji, in this world, good people why they suffer? See, look at me, I am suffering. Therefore, there is a chance that I am good. So, here is Sita Pradnya. He has this firm conviction, experience, firm abidance. Pratishtita Pradnya, Aham Asmi Param Brahma, Yasya Sahasi Sita Pradnya. Tasya Kaha Bhasha. किं भाषण वचन कथम असौ पर भाष्य पैसि वॉइस हाउ दिस पर्सन इज स्पोकन ऑफ बाय अदर्स सो असौ पर भाष्य सामिस्त सौ स्थित केशव सो दिस वाइज मैन हू इज firmly abiding in this self so here also samadhi sthasya samadhau sthitasya we are seeing the meaning of the samadhi samadhi means atman in the last verse don't confuse this word you have to understand every word in a reference to context we cannot use the same word and same meaning every time everywhere लाइक इन उद्धरे आत्मनात्मानम नात्मानम अवसादेत आत्मैव आत्मनो बंधु आत्मैव रिपुरात्मना हाफ अ डजन आत्मास कम देयर सो द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड हैज टू बी करेक्टली अंडरस्टूड 
Now here when Bhagwan is talking about samadha vachala buddhi tada yogam avapsasi and here the meaning of the word is samadhi means the atman, atmani. So samadhi stasya, samadhau sitasya. So a person who is firmly abiding in his absolute being, how is he being spoken of by others? This is the question. Sita Pradnasya ka bhasha samadhistasya keshava. So, how will be the anvaya prose order? Sita Pradnasya samadhistasya he keshava ka bhasha. O Lord Krishna, the one who is firmly abiding in the self, how is he being spoken of by the world? First question. Now the second question. Sthita dhihi, sthita pradnyaha svayam va, kim prabhasheta? So what people speak about him? Second thing, how does he speak? Kim prabhasheta? Third, kim asita and vrajeta kim? Fourth. So there are four questions. So, asanam vrajanam va, vrajanam va, tasya katham ityartaha. How does he sit and how does he move around? So, sthita pradnyasa lakshanam anena shlokena pruchati. By this verse, Arjuna asks the description of the man of steady wisdom. He is abiding in the self and moving in the relative existence. Yohi Aditaha Eva Sannishya Karmani Yoga Jnana Yoga Nishthayam Pravruttaha Yahacha Karma Yogena Pravruttaha Tayoho Stita Pradnasya Prajahati Iti Arabhya Adhyaya Parisamapti Parjanta Stita Pradnya Lakshanam Sadhanancha Upadishchate So the one who has taken to sannyas by taking to the path of Jnana Yoga right from the beginning Meaning he did not get involved into the four stages of life such as the Brahmacharya, Grahastha, Vana, Prastha and then Sanyas. But he has directly opted bypassing the in-between two stages of Grahastha and the Vana, Prastha. So he who is Aditaha Eva right in the beginning. So Jnana Yoga Nishthayam Pravruttaha. So those who are studying the scriptures without getting involved in the samsarik life, to them this is attributed. Second thing, yahacha karma yogena. <coughs> and the second type of people are those who have finished their uh, childhood, studied, got married and then thereafter uh, got uh, this uh, vana prastha. And now they are tired of this world. So they have no more interest in this world. And therefore they have taken to the study of the scriptures. And in this manner, these two approaches. So, of Tayoho, Stita Pradnyasya, of these two, Stita Pradnyasya, Prajahati, from the next verse, Prajahati, Yada Kaman, Sarvan, Parthamanogatan, Prajahati, Iti Arabhya, starting from here, Adhyaya Parisamapti Parjantam up to the end of this chapter Sthita Pradnya Lakshanam Sadhanancha Upadishyate The description of the man of steady wisdom will be spoken and Sadhanancha and this becomes the means for the seekers. Now here Bhagwan nicely says Sarvatra Evahi Adhyatma Shastre in all the scriptural uh, books, Sarvatra Evahi Adhyatma Shastre, Krutartha Lakshanani Yani Tani Eva Sadhanani Upadishante Yatya Sadhyatvat. So, the description of the men of steady wisdom is, in other words, the spiritual practice to be followed by the seekers. So, what is the description of the wise man? becomes the instruction for the ignorant man to follow as the spiritual practice. Yani yatna sadhanani, yani yatna sadhyani sadhanani lakshanani cha bhavanti tani. So, yatna sadhyani, that which can be 
attained through efforts, through putting sincere efforts. So that sadhanani lakshanani cha bhavanti. So this becomes the means for the ignorant and natural state for the wise. Therefore, when this topic comes three times in Bhagavad Gita, once here, second time it comes in the discussion of uh, the devotee, in the twelfth chapter, Advesta Sarva Bhutana Maitra Karuna Evacha. And the third place it comes in the fourteenth chapter, where Bhagavan talks of the uh, Trigunatita Purusha. There also Arjuna has the same question. What are the you know characteristics of a man who has gone beyond the three gunas? So in all the three places, this is the principle. When this principle is understood in this manner, then we are spiritual seeker. Or else we have read it and then we take a paper and a pencil. Anybody we see, immediately take out. Prajahati, Yada, Kaman, Sarvan, Parthamanogatan. He has asked for a cup of tea. No. Because <laughs> desire is still there for a cup of tea. Atmanne vatmana tushtaha. No, he is always irritated, not realize. This is not meant for that. This is meant for our own spiritual practice. First. Second thing. Wise men do not require our certificate to appreciate them. They don't need. So keeping this in view, we should study the scripture. Now before we go, now this Arjuna's question, we will analyze yet another way. <coughs> See, sthita pradnyasya samadhistasya ka bhasha keshava. So, sthita prajnya, a person who is firmly abiding in his self, Although he is very much living in the relativity, does he have any meaning for the samadhi? See, does he have to practice meditation? Because he is already abiding in the self. So his life is a 24 hours meditation. So of such a person, sir, for him, is there any meaning of sadhana or spiritual practice, etc.? So, is such a man seen that he is doing spiritual practice? Can we take him that if he is eating non vegetarian, why not we? So, in this manner, first question. Second question Sthitadihi kim prabhasheta. Whenever we talk, what is the meaning of talking? Talking means responding. How this man of steady wisdom responds to the world? How does he respond? Because the world will be coming to him in all its colors. Sometimes joy, sometimes sorrow, sometimes honor, sometimes dishonor, sometimes... Uh, uh, love, sometime honey, sometime appreciation, sometime depreciation. So when the world is coming in front of him, he may not go anywhere. But if even if he is sitting anywhere, the world will come to him. If not the people, the climate. If not the climate, some if I mean or any kind of thing. So when these kinds of things approach him unasked for, how does he respond? Stitadhihi kim prabhasheta. Does he become like a dumb stone? Or he revolts? How does he respond in any situation? Third question. Stitadhihi kim asita. And whatever he is able to attain, in his response to the world of any kind of experiences, Kim Asita, how is he able to be firmly seated on the steadiness of his wisdom? The third question. 
how is he so steady what is the foundation asan means foundation so what is the foundation on which he is wisdom never gets corrupted see because anything that is gained is likely to be corrupted because of the situations like you must have seen those people who do a lot of physical exercise that weight lifters they'll be eating the weight uh, lifting the weight so much so much so much and uh, above portion becomes so ugly and they think it is beautiful standing all the time in front of the mirror and when the weight lifting business stops because pondylosis and doctor tells if you lift even one murmura you will suffer a heart attack so from then onwards he doesn't do that thing now all the muscles which were gathered here are pulled from the whole body that's how their muscle become strong all muscles are pulled from the remaining body they don't come from outside and they accumulate here so the lower portion is you know you must have seen those who are having polio their chest and uh, arms are very strong because they are using their body the uh, whole weight everything on the hand therefore they become strong now this fellow when he stops slowly slowly all the muscles which were accumulated in the upper part start descending and then the lower portion start becoming bulged and upper becomes thin so what is the foundation <clears throat> that this wisdom that he has gained it doesn't get corrupted <clears throat> because the rule is what anything that you get is bound to be lost anything that is created that will be destroyed if jatasya hi dhru mrutyu so if we are gaining this wisdom firm abidance in the self because yada tada you are giving us a time when this happens this happens so once you get this wisdom firm abidance in the self is it likely to be destroyed if not what is the foundation on which he is so firmly seated so kimasita and the fourth question is vrajeta kim is he all the time sitting only or he moves also that means the world we interact in two ways when the world comes to us we interact and second thing when we go to the world we interact see when somebody comes to our house we interact with him and when we go to somebody's house that time also we interact in the same manner vrajeta kim when he is himself moving in the world what is the way he moves in this world see this gives a complete picture of arjuna's question so there are four things first is the meaning of meditation samadhi for a man of steady wisdom so here we come to know that meditation samadhi self realization these are one and the same therefore that samadhi which is only at the level of the chitta vritti nirodaha that is a jada samadhi and the moment the chitta vritti start coming samadhi gone but this samadhi is not that way because he is moving he is talking he is sitting he is interacting with the world and yet the samadhi is not disturbed see yad yad karma karomi tatta dakhilam shambho tava aradhana so whatever i am doing that is the aradhana of the lord in the same manner he is talking but he is maunam he is indulging but he is in meditation how this is possible so this is the question of arjun now bhagwan ad uh, answers this question shri bhagwan uvacha shri bhagwan uvacha prajahati yada kaman prajahati yada kaman sarvan parth manogatan आत्मनेवात्मना तुष्टा आत्मनेवात्मना तुष्टा स्थितिर्न्यायात्मनेवात्मना तुष्टा 
ಸ್ಥಿ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಸ್ತೋಚ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಯದಾ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ಮನೋಗತಾನ್ ಕಾಮಾನ್ ಪ್ರಜಹಾತಿ when all the desires contained in the mind are given up for good first second is atmani eva atmana tushtaha and he is totally content with himself fulfilled is two things he who has he is in meditation 24 hours or he doesn't need to do meditation or he is sthita prajna or he is jeevan mukta or he is abiding in the absolute self whatever way you take it so bhagwan shankara says prajahati prakarshena jahati parityajati prakarshena jahati parityajati means he gives up for good unlike my friend who has given up cigarette smoking 10 times not like that only once in the same manner he who has given the things once for all what are the things he has given yada yaspin kale sarvan samastan all exhaustively without any clause kaman ichha bhedan see he who does not have any kind of desires left over in his mind see the fulfillment of the desire itself is called as mamata for what we struggle and this is we have seen the three types yudhish yudhish uh, not yudhish dhritarashtra's desire was tamasik to have the worldly kingdom then duryodhana's was the rajasik and our arjun maharaj was satvik because he was thinking you know that i should not do this i should do this thing please remember this basic thing as long as the trace of doership is alive in our heart till then this question will always come in your mind what question what to do so after we listen to the satsang after we listen to everything then the question comes okay so we are understood now tell us what to do <laughs> see that means something has to be done and why something has to be done because something has to be gained why something has to be gained because now i don't have see therefore here the teacher is telling samastan ichha bhedan so there are three types of desires the satvik rajasik tamasik and in the third chapter bhagwan will tell arjun that all the three types of desires are creating problem so when he gives up all desires once for all now see this has a reflection in our kathopanishad there also yamaraj tells nachiket the similar thought yada sarve pramuchyante kama yasya hridi sthitah tada martya amruto bhavati atra brahma samashtute see yada hridi sthitan kaman tyajati sarvan therefore let this be clearly understood as long as i consider myself to be incomplete desires will be there when desires are there they will put you into action see then he who doesn't have any desire he has no question of getting into any activity and second thing he doesn't have any kind of depression frustration therefore atmane vatmana tushta so prajahati 
यदा सर्वान कामान हे पार्थ मनोगतान मनसी प्रविष्टान हृदय प्रविष्टान ऑल द डिजायर्स आर बॉर्न इन अवर माइंड एंड हाउ द डिजायर्स आर बॉर्न अगेन आई रिपीट दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड द जेनेसिस ऑफ एक्शन हाउ द डिजायर्स आर बॉर्न फर्स्ट सेंस ऑफ लिमिटेशन वाई इट कम्स देर इज नो रीजन इट इज अ फुलिशनेस एंड फॉर फुलिशनेस देर इज नो रीजन फुलिशनेस इज द रीजन फॉर एवरीथिंग सो वी कंसिडर अवर सेल्फ टू बी इनकम्प्लीट ओके देन नैचुरली यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम कंप्लीट सो दैट वॉन्ट हैज कम बिकॉज ऑफ द सेंस ऑफ इनकम्प्लीटनेस नाउ द वॉन्ट फॉर वॉट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन यूअर एबिलिटी टू प्रोजेक्ट so if you are a young boy and if you feel you are incomplete then you want some company and then the want to get married and then there is no in putreshana viteshana lokeshana so all the desires are expressions of a sense of incompleteness apurnata see very very important so he who has given up all the desires from his mind once for all now this desires can be given up under different conditions first condition is when you have come to discover that you are the infinite absolute reality then there cannot be any desire that will bind you see the water flows in the river and the water also moves in the ocean the movement of the water in the river is a desire to reach the ocean the movement of the water in the ocean is the fulfillment of being see the basic difference so are our actions our life in this world an expression of the fulfillment or are we struggling to attain fulfillment in this world find out this is how the desires are born therefore if you remember so many times i emphasize never do anything to get happiness always every action every thought every word be an expression of the happiness then you are in that sthita pradna category first now सर्व काम परित्यागे तुष्टी कारणा भावाद शरीर धारण निमित्त शेषे च सती उन्मत्त प्रमत्त से प्रवृत्ति प्राप्ता इति अतः उच्चते नाउ हियर भगवान शंकर से सर्व काम परित्यागे ऑल द डिजायर्स आर गिवन अप बट तुष्टी कारण अभावाद बट देर इज नो कंटेनमेंट there is no fulfillment experienced by a person and sharira dharana nimitta what is the sharira dharana nimitta our prarabdha karma we are in this body as long as the prarabdha is functioning so sharira dharana nimitta sheshe as long as the prarabdha is there then such a person he is not working in the outer world to get his desire fulfilled because i don't want i don't want i don't want and second thing the prarabdha of the body is yet to be worked out so what will be happening he will be suppressing and leading a life of abnormal existence and as a result unmatta pramattasya eva pravritti he will go mad see i don't know if i told you <clears throat> there was one girl this is how you know many many seekers they imagine spirituality in a very abnormal perverted manner things should happen then the spiritual life becomes beautiful and it doesn't matter what age you start in what way you start that is not important it is for every individual seeker is a different path is a different way it is not the same so this girl and her sister this elderly sister was somehow or the other right from the childhood injected 
that she is very simple, she is very good, she is like that, she is like that. And that stupid girl started that way and became such that I don't want to put on nice clothes, I don't want to put on lipstick and their society demands all that, no. And parents say, she is so simple, she is so goody goody. And she has just nurtured that artificial life. And after a particular age has gone, and then one day she came to me, she said, Swamiji, please don't laugh at me, but uh, I want to get married. Do you know somebody? I said, Amma, what is your age? Swamiji, I am 48. But I feel I should get married. I think I had done a mistake. My parents have right from childhood told me all these things. It was totally wrong. Because whatever I try, the mind is no more listening. I am getting frustrated, angry, dejected. Now see, therefore here this is what Bhagavan is telling. When you force yourself against the nature, without the capacity, then all these abnormalities come. Therefore it is necessary, Bhagavan tells. Atmani eva pratyagatma rupe eva atmana svena bhaiya avilasha nirapeksha tushtaha paramartha darshana amrutha rasala vena anyasmad alam pratyavan sthita pradnya sthita pradishtita atman atma viveka ja pradnya yasya sa sthita pradnya vidvan tada uchate chakta putra vitta lokaishanaha sanyasi atma rama atma krida sthita pradnya ityardaha Now what Bhagavan is telling these are the two aspects. In so many organizations I go and when the people come and talk about something or the other, their sadhana, their problem, and one thing I have seen in many places, they take one side. Somewhere karma yoga, somewhere ashtanga yoga, somewhere only bhakti, 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 chanting Lord's name and nothing. And as a result, the other side of their personality is completely starving. And then all abnormalities come. The other day I went to see Amma, Ammachi, and uh, in Delhi. So there are so many people, some of them know me, some of them don't know me. So one person who knows me, he is the chief of that Delhi uh, center. So he phones out, you come, I'm waiting for you near the gate. So I went, he was waiting. We went inside. After we went inside, then the other group who had come from Kerala, they were not even allowing him, you get away, get away. Now. So he was feeling so bad. I said, keep quiet, did nothing to feel bad. I have come here to enjoy the whole thing and this is also part of the game, don't worry. And... Uh, Thereafter, another person come, one Brahmacharani came. She did Namaskar and she said, You don't know Swami Ramananda? The whole world knows him. How come you don't know? I said, You know, Amma, don't start fighting. There is no need to know anybody. I have come to take darshan of Amma, I'll go. How they are all asking you to stand here, come with me. And she took my hand. Oh, oh, oh. Look here. Are we in this world to react? are to enjoy the bliss of being. And then Amma was having her meeting inside, so I was waiting outside. Like so many, I was standing there with my folded hand. Immediately, she was, oh, got a chair. Sit here, how can you stand? I said, Vivekananda stood, why not me? See, these kinds of abnormal behaviors come when we are not quite within. And therefore here Bhagavan says, Atmani eva pratyagatma swarupe When you are abiding in the self, none of the outer things will ever disturb you. How important it is. Now see how it is. You must uh, see, every moment is a moment of your sadhana if you are you know, alert enough. When you go on the railway station and uh, when the train comes and the train stops only for a short period 
and which compartment is where it is written in such a manner even god cannot understand there are two three numbers and you don't know this way to read or that way to read so all kinds of things and then the train comes that time don't look at the train look at the people <laughs> isn't it continuously out 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 in the same manner when we are extremely extrovert there cannot be peace within so things are happening in this world yes they are happening good things are happening bad things are happening why should we get disturbed are we the managers of the whole universe no and everything happens exactly at the right time nothing happens early nothing happens old if something happens early or old it is abnormal if the baby is delivered at uh, you know the 6 months and put into the incubator like a you know chick and then after 6 uh, 8 months the baby comes out like a small squirrel is that abnormal baby similarly another baby continues to be inside like shukacharya 12 years i don't know look about her other abnormality therefore everything happens at the right time nothing can justify you get disturbed so atmanne atmana tushtaha so atmani eva pratyek atma rupe atmana svena eva bahya lapha nirapekshaha asi svena tushtaha contained with himself it is so simple and when we are contained with ourselves what happens baihya labha nirapekshaha there is nothing that is expected of the world from the world nirapekshaha therefore tushtaha tushtaha why he is so contained paramartha darshana amruta rasalabhena because raso vai saha rasagam hevayam labdhanandi bhavati if we have discovered the bliss of aloneness that is called as darshana amruta rasalabhena anyasmat alam pratyavan and therefore he has alam pratyavan means enough of the outer world anyasmat outer world and alam means enough alam pratyavan he who he has total contentment enough 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 not no more alam pratyavan sthita pragnaha sthita pratishtita atmanatma viveka ja pragnayasya so the first method of giving up the desire is this now the second method of giving up the desire is that this world which is constantly changing how so ever you may hold on to this it is going to change those who are friends they become enemy those who are enemies they become friends those who are near and dear they don't help us those who are unknown people they come and help us those who are very healthy they suddenly become ill and those who are with all the diseases they are able to maintain their life still more fruitfully this is how the world is there is nothing to get influenced by this illusion of world why this illusion because it is constantly changing it is not the same so he who has thus these two aspects either look upon the world as an illusion and don't get influence or discover the contentment within and don't get influence the net result is abide in your own self now how this is possible this is possible when you analyze your own experiences it's so deep and so simple it is that when we think about body immediately i am man woman young old etc then think about the prana that i am hungry thirsty think about the mind i am miserable happy think about the intellect i am successful i am intelligent i am not intelligent 
and go to the self, immediately all thinking disappears. And thereafter, that thought-free existence is the truth. All other experiences are through the agency of thoughts. Therefore, whichever way we do, Atman Atma Viveka Ja Pradnya Sthita Pratishthita Yasya Sahasthita Pradnya Vidwan Tada Ucchate Then he is called as the Sthita Prajnya. In short, Bhagavan Shankara says, Chatta Putra Vitta Lokeshanaha Sanyasi He who has given all the Eshana, I told you these three Eshanas, first is the Putra Eshana, Putra Eshana, because when I have a son and then when I die, he will do my Shraddha, then I will go to Pitru Lok and he will keep on doing Shraddha, so I will get my food. So he has the hope of going to Pitru Lok or the other Lokas. Naturally, he will have to depend on the sun. So, other way, that I don't want to go anywhere. I want to discover my own self. So, why I require a sun? Unnecessarily problem. The other day, somebody was blessed with a second daughter. So, that mother told Swamiji, I said, if you are going to tell me that Swamiji, had there been a son, it would have been nice. I said, if you are going to tell me that, I will put down the phone. He says, Swamiji, don't put down, but I wanted to say that. I said, I will beat you if I see you next time. Why? I said, look here, to have daughters is better than sons. Why? You don't have to worry about the daughter-in-law. You see, the mothers have a very good relation with the son-in-law and they live happily. The mothers have a terrible relation with the daughter-in-law and live miserable and yet they want the son. I don't know what kind of head they have, if they have at all. So I said, you know, it's good. They are both our girls. Let them grow and they will get married and go away and you enjoy your life. Why are you suffering to have son, son and all the time worried about him? So, Chakta Putra Eshana. Second is Chakta Viteshana. Viteshana is accumulation of wealth. Money, 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 money. And you know, so many people I don't know how it goes in the head to construct, construct, construct. And they will create so much of facility, even 5% is not utilized. What for to create? And what is the uh, you know meaning of really prosperity to have a big house? You know, I think I was in somewhere in South Africa. And uh, after my one or two days lecture, one uh, couple told me, Swamiji, please come to our house. I said, you talk to such and such person, he has fixed my lunch breakfast, I don't know. You fix with him, I will come. So he said, he said, Swamiji, there is no possibility. <coughs> I said, okay, when we are going this way, I will just peep in for two minutes. This is off the record, because that is the record. So all right. And uh, I went. And he said, Swamiji, uh, please bless our house. I said, means what? No, we have got uh, 11 bedrooms. And I said, don't go further. If you are expecting that I will move through all the 11 bedrooms, forget about it. I am not going to do that. He said, no, Swamiji. Actually, you know, I constructed this house in this manner because I have got four, five sons and two, three daughters and I thought all of them will live together. Therefore, I constructed this thing. But none of my children want to stay here. Some of them in this very town, yet they don't want to come and stay here. Why don't you tell them something? I said, who is in front of me? They are you. So, Swamiji, I am in front of you. Then I can tell you or them. Mm, you can tell me. I say, okay, then listen. <laughs> Why do you make their life miserable? Are they furnitures? <laughs> Lift the chair from here and put there. 
they are human beings they have got their own life and where are your parents so aji my parents are in cape town why did you leave your parents they are also feeling the same thing so i mean for the work we have to leave i said the same thing is a reply from your children there is no end to this vitteshana collect more and more things more and more things and the third thing is lokeshana lokeshana is going to this world and that world first in this very world go from here to there kurute ganga sagar gamanam vrata paripalana dhava daram swami ji is it necessary to go to varanasi and all that suppose we go to goa there is no need to go anywhere why here and there so location we imagine things are here better there better and all that keep on moving so he who has given tyakta all these kinds of desires he is a sanyasi he is a atma rama reveling in the self atma krida and he is content with himself he is called as the sita prajna so arjuna's first question was sita prajna se ka bhasha samadhistasya keshava how what this sita prajna is what are the salient features so these are the two salient features one he is not carrying the load of desires on his mind and second he is content otherwise he is like bhagwan said here unmatta pramattasya eva pravrutti hi he who is content and content when also come in laziness if you see he is not lazy na theek hai but is so dirty or it's okay how does it matter god's will that laziness is not meant over here now containing this thought dukheshvanudvigna manaha सुखेशु विगत स्पृह वीतराग भय क्रोध स्थितुनिच्यते नौ सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉज स्थित प्रज्ञ से का भाषा सामिस्त से केशव स्थित किं प्रभाषेत how does he uh, respond when the world comes to him so how the world what is the world that comes to us only two things come in our life one is sukha and second is dukha see when the winter comes for the old people Okay, no, you know, Swamiji, this cold goes up to the bones. You know, I feel so disgusted whenever winter comes. You go to those country where there is snow, a lot of snow for four, five years, and all that. See how depressing everywhere it is. So that snow becomes a misery for the old fellows. and the children they are waiting for the snow to fall so they can go and play meaning outer things have nothing to do what comes in our life only two things come one is dukha second is sukha so kim prabhashet how does this man of steady wisdom respond dukheshu anudvigna manaha dukheshu adhyatmika dishu prapte shu cha so there are three kinds of dukkha adhyatmik adhi bhautik and adhi daivik these are called as trividha taap the three kinds of miseries in our life so which are these three kinds of miseries first is uh, adhi daivik let us start from a distance what is the adhi daivik uh, dukkha adhi daivik dukha is suddenly things happen which is unexpected and we feel oh god why you have selected me for this thing see how it is there was a one um, boy 
who was told by his parents to marry a particular girl. And he rejected, rejected, I won't get married to that girl, I don't like her. No, 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 she is good, she is educated, she is from a nice family and all that. He said, whatever day I don't want to get married, don't want to get married. And finally he didn't get married. And then after, then that girl got married to somebody and produced a child and went mad. Whatever has happened, she became mad. Now the mother of this boy who rejected, Beta, it's good you didn't get married to her. Look here, she has gone mad, it is good. See? This is how the world is. One, Adi Daivik. Second thing is uh, Adi Bhautik. Adi Bhautik is the disturbances and the miseries that come to us from the known sources, but we have no control over that. One is from the unknown sources, Adi Daivik. Like, you know, somebody gets suddenly some kind of, uh, you know, uh, Parkinson's. Here from Deska, I don't know, nobody has in our family. Oh, congratulations, you have it. So, second is known sources. What is the known sources? Ganapadi Vapamoriya. They will create so much of noise and you can't do anything about it. Or else if you are in Calcutta, every more where you go, they will come with the booklet and money, money, money. That is the Adi Bhautik Taap. And then the third is Adhyatmik Dukkha. Adhyatmik Dukkha is what? I feel very low, I don't know why. Nobody likes me, I am left out. I think it is better that I die. Nobody will even bother about. So everybody is waiting that this fellow dies. But nobody doesn't die. So, these are the three kinds of miseries. Adhyatmik, Adi Bhautik, Adi Daivik. Prapteshu. When they come in the life, na udvignam prakshubitam dukha prapto manoyasya saha ayam anudvignamanaha. So he who is not prakshubitam, not influenced by, not disturbed by, because of the arrivals of the miseries in life, and he is able to keep his cool. He is called as Anudvigna Manaha. Anudvigna Manaha. He who has this undisturbed mind. In short, what we will say? He who is not disturbed by the world. See, this principle I tell you in different words. He who gets miserable because of the world, he is a fool. And here Bhagavan says, he who doesn't get miserable because of the world, he is wise. So, dukkheshu anudvignamanaha, then tatha sukheshu vigata spruhaha. Sukheshu prapteshu vigata spruha trishna yasya no agni iva indhanadi adhane sukhani anuvivardate sa vigata spruhaha. So, he who when the good things or something what he likes happens, he doesn't expect that the same thing should happen again and again. Like in case of fire, when you add the fuel, the fire grows in the same manner. In the life of this man of steady wisdom, when good things happen, he does not start imagining and desiring. In this manner, the same thing should happen again and again. No. That means, Sukh or the happiness does not enslave him or the miseries do not disturb him. Both the things. And because of this enslaving aspect of the Sukha, many people are becoming slaves and they forget their spiritual practice. For example, this example our Swami Khandayan used to give. There was 
you know, because I never take milk and all that. So once he asked me, take milk. So somebody told Swamiji, he doesn't take milk, anything milk product. He said, very good, very good. So why very good? Then he told a story. A sadhu was there and uh, he could not go to sleep unless he takes a big bumper glass of milk. That was his habit right from childhood. It must be a North Indian, Punjabi, etc. And because of that, wherever he goes, he will see that milk is available. And therefore, he has to go and stay in the pocket of the rich people because there only the milk can be made available. So, Sukhi Shu Vigata Spruhaha. He who does not expect the comforts to be necessity of life. So, two aspects. Sukheshu Vigata Spruha Trishna Yasya. So, Vigata Spruha. Now, third. Vita Raga Bhaya Krodha. Vita, don't translate, uh, write it in uh, South Indian English. Vita. Vita means gone. Vigatau. So, Vita gone. He from whom Raga Bhaya Krodha. These three things are gone for good. What are these three things? Raga, we all know attachment, desires, expectations. Then bhaya, the fear. And third is the krodha, the anger. So, vigata yasmat sa vita raga bhaya krodaha. So he from whom these three things have disappeared. When comforts again and again we want, we are having attachment rag. Then we have the fear also that may these comforts go away. Who knows? Today it is okay, tomorrow I don't know what will happen. So fear is there. And then Krodha, if the comforts are taken away by somebody, then towards that somebody all the anger comes. Similarly, the other way around, regarding the Dukkha. When the Dukkha comes, we become extremely disturbed. When we become extremely disturbed, then we go on remembering those days, you know, when we were there, it was so nice. You know, there was one uh, family who were in Hong Kong or somewhere, settled and uh, came and settled in Pune very mansion type of house they are made and uh, when I went to their house you can't even move freely everywhere there were so many things placed as if you are entering a museum how you enter a museum don't touch here, don't touch there so many boards and here and through that you have to negotiate in the house you don't live like that so they showed me and uh, Samaji, how do you like? I said, your museum is very good. What do you take me to your house? So they started looking at each other. Swamiji, we have come to our house. Oh, very nice. House is very good. What else can I say? So, Swamiji, actually, you know, when we were there, we brought everything. Because at least this will remind us those beautiful days we spent over there and here when we come out there's too many people and there is a lot of rush on the road there is dust everywhere and all our time goes in cleaning this thing that thing can you suggest us something you see so those days were good now days are bad this is how we create problem for us therefore I told you one thing Never talk about your past. Never ask anybody their past. And you naturally live in the present, cheerfully and happily. You are a Sthita Prajnapurush. That is all. So, Vita Raga Bhaya Krodaha. Raga Hacha Bhayanja Krodaha Cha. Vita Gata Yasmatsa Vita Raga Bhaya Krodaha. Sthita Dihi. Sthita Dihi. He is a man with steady understanding. Sthita Prajnaha Muni Sanyasi Tada Uchchate. 
Muni means sannyasi means the one who has placed himself in the right place. Samyak nyasam sannyasam. So samyak nyasaha sannyasaha. Where do you put yourself? With the body, with the mind, with the prakriti or with the pure self. So such a sannyasi is called as Tita Pradnya. Continuing further, Yasarvatrana Bisnehaha Yasarvatrana Bisnehaha Tat Prapya Shubha Shubham Nabhinandati Nadveshti Nabhinandati Nadveshti Tasya Prajna Pratishthitam Tasya Prajna Pratishthitam Yaha Sarvatra Yaha Munihi Sarvatra Deha Jivita Dishu Api Anabhisnehaha Anabhisneha means Abhisneha Vajataha It should be Varjitaha not Vajataha Abhisneha var jitaha. I must have seen this after many years. So, Abhisneha var jitaha, he who does not have any sneha from all sides. Tat tat prapya shubha shubham. And similarly, he tat tat shubham ashubham va labdha na abhinnandati na dveshti meaning shubham prapya na dushyati na rushyati ashubham prapya cha na dveshti ityartaha so how does he respond kim prabhasheta this is the second verse in reply to the same question sarvatra anabhisnehaha he who does not have any kind of special liking for anything or anybody both the things. When you like things, you get caught up and you carry the load of that thing on your head. When you like somebody, you become a slave. Both the things. So either you bury yourself under the load of the worldly possessions or you become a slave of becoming uh, attached to anybody in this world. Anybody. So, yaha sarvatra anavisnehaha. He who does not have these, similarly, tat tat prapya shubha shubham. And sometime shubha will happen, sometime ashubha will happen. Shubha means what? That what we expected. And ashubha that we did expect. So, na abhinandati. When something good happens, he is not bouncing out of his body. And na ashubham prapya dveshti. And when something goes wrong, he does not have ill feeling towards that thing or being. Tasya prajna pradishthita means what? His interaction with the world are such that he does not allow his equipoise to be compromised or purchased by anything. This is one way looking at it. Now this word can be interpreted in another way. Yaha sarvatra anabhisneha we have seen. Second thing, yaha sarvatran abhisneha. He who is able to love everybody. So when you love everybody, then there is no ashubha and shubha. See, if we are able to love life, we should be able to love death also. If we are able to love the riches, we should be able to love the poverty also. Then only you have gone beyond all the pairs of opposite. And he who has thus, he is neither excited because of something good happening, nor dejected because of something ill happening. So, tasya evam harsha vishada varjitasya vivekaja pradnya pradishtita bhavati. So how the uh, uh, wisdom becomes steady? Harsha vishada varjitasya. Harsha vishada. Harsha is uncontrolled happiness. Vishada is uncontrolled misery. Both of them. He who is not losing his cool. He who is not getting disturbed by the joys and sorrows. 
बिकॉज ऑफ विवेक बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉन्टेम्पलेशन बिकॉज ऑफ द डिस्क्रिमिनेशन दैट इज वाय अवर भागवत शास्त्र टेल च गेन एन अगेन डोंट गो ऑन प्रेजिंग एनी बडी टू मच यू विल कंडेम वन डे एंड डोंट गो ऑन कंडेमिंग एनी बडी वन मच वन डे यू विल हैव टू प्रेज सो हाउ डू यू लिव इन दिस वर्ल्ड Live in this world in such a manner that you don't have to regret afterwards. But the world is constantly changing. In this manner, you will have always peaceful disposition. And when the peace is born out of discrimination and wisdom, you are wise. When peace is born out of depression and dejection, you are a patient. so he is not a patient therefore nabhi nandati na dveshti doesn't mean that he is depressed you know these people depressed people they are like that you know you go and talk to them and tell the best of the joke and this is now try to make me laugh that is not the meaning so harsha vishada raitasya viveka ja pragna pratishtita bhavati that a person who is uninfluenced by the world his wisdom alone becomes steady kincha continuing further yada samharate chayam yada samharate chayam kurmongani va sarvashah kurmongani va sarvashah indriyani indriyarthebhyah तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता दिस चाय बिजनेस विल बी टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ